Well, we've just seen the story of Manchester City there and who better to tell us about their journey than Manchester's favourite son, Noel Gallagher. Good to have you with us. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. How are you? Very well. Thank you. You and Jamie bonding there over the 7-0. It's a shame Peter <laughs> Schmeichel <laughs> isn't here. Yeah, no, no, no. It was, a, it, was a, it was a great day for British football. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only bad thing about it is it was them that beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I'm sure you concur a little bit with that. Listen, you know, we've all got little rivalries, but when Manchester United are involved, I think we are, we will take close mates there. But I think you're absolutely spot on, one of the sons of Manchester, but Michael Richards. He's from Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, we've just seen the, you know, the the rise of Manchester City over the years there. We know you've been going for a long time to watch your club. Where did it all start for you? 1974 at Main Road, in Newcastle at home. I only, we, we won 5-1, but I can only remember Malcolm McDonald scoring the one for Newcastle. Um, <laughs> but it was my local team. We <laughs> we lived in Longsight, uh, which was only about a mile up from where the training ground was at Platte Lane. So uh, we used to go and watch them training during the week sometimes. But um, yeah, they've been my local team all my life. Yeah. We're obviously here in this very lush stadium now, but it's not always been like it, has it? Well, this is, I mean, this is great, but uh, yeah, but Main Road had something special. When Main yes, Road was, I agree. It was a real deal. When you went there as an away supporter, you were getting into it. And in the middle of Moss Side, it was a tricky place. Even if you're Mancunia, it's a tricky it place. Mm. But um, Main Road was was one of the great British football grounds. And I mean, it didn't look as great as this, but it, and we didn't really win anything while we were there. But uh, do you miss Main Road then? I do. Though, I, do, you... I, do I do miss it. Yeah, I do miss it. You know. You, you lot haven't moved ground and Arsenal moved ground and all that and it's there is it's a big it's a big thing when it happens because you know it's like your, your whole entire life but I think every fan of a certain age and my age will say they all miss Main Road yeah well Michael they were actually at Main Road still when you joined the club weren't they yeah I was in the, uh, the academy uh, came to the academy at 14 and then when after we finished the game at 11 o'clock, we then go down to Main Road and watch. And I think you, you scored a goal there one of, one of the times as well, Thierry. The ball came over and it was a left foot finish. And I just remember it was... Long time ago. A very long time ago. <laughs> but the memories were just brilliant. You know, to be a part of that academy, it's great memories. And then to go on and win an FA Cup in the Premier League. I couldn't ask for, for anything better. Well, that shows that. how far Manchester City come when another academy players is remembering Main Road. He's remembering an Arsenal goal, not a Man City goal. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. I, 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 I remember a few of them Elkins got. <laughs> i tell you what, let's go back to your debut, Micah. OK. October 2005. Let's take a look at the lineups from that day. Because you actually started on the bench, didn't you? But it must have been a dream day. You had your hero, Thierry Henry. Yeah, playing it was looking even at you. Jordan. that team. Fabregas, wow. Wow. Gilberto Silva, Thierry Bergkamp, so Perez. But we had some good well, players on our team that as well. That Man City team. Yeah. No, no David Somay, no Joey wonder, Barton. No wonder they had to spend a billion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. No, looking back at that team, who did you like out of that lineup? Don't know, you have to put it up again. <laughs> I always you need Mike's glasses. I, yeah, I, you need Mike's glasses. I always, I always remember when he where it's like he's got the most exotic name of anyone we'd ever, mm. we'd ever had it's like Micah <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of name is that <laughs> who's this guy he's got two first names what's his name? <laughs> uh, but he had when he when he played he, had, he was like a he was like a he was a breath of fresh air when he came mm. and uh, it was at that time where we used to have to sell all our best players and one of the great things about now although we can buy players like Haaland it's back in the day if we had Rico Lewis and Foden, they'd already be out the door. They'd already be gone. And uh, it's a great thing for supporters when you see kids coming through and you can keep them. And then they can they can go on and make, you know, two or three hundred appearances. Um, but he was great. He had spirit. And uh, Keep talking. Keep going. Let me lap it up. You know what I mean? Well, I've not mentioned skill, of course, but he did have, oh. he did have, he did have, he was into it. Yeah. He was into it. He was enthusiastic. But it is, I mean, we, we all remember him for when he scored his first goal and then the interview afterwards. Yeah. Well, which yeah. Which can't be, which can't be, which can't be, broad, can't be re broadcast. But. I'll tell you what, Noel. We can have a okay. look at that. Yeah. Oh. Let's have a look now because this was actually after your first start. A few months later, you then got your first TV interview. Okay. It, it went horribly wrong, didn't it? Well, oh, you say that. Well, Brilliant Micah, memory is this. Extraordinary finish. What did you make of it? Oh, it was just great to be out there. 
I just can't believe it. For a minute, it was 1-0 down, and then last minute, I got the goal, so not, not much more I can ask for, really. Well, you're a young lad, and uh, we can uh, understand your excitement, but uh, this is going up to a national audience, so be careful what you say. Um, <laughs> You, you got told off by a reporter. How old were you, how old were you there? 17. 17. Oh, yeah. I've aged oh. like a fine wine, though, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before that, though, Micah, do you remember your debut going back to that lineup we saw when you were on the bench because you came off the bench, didn't you? Yes. And you played up front. I remember that. Look, <laughs> you, you see it here. I mean, Skinny. a I young, know. fresh faced. Micah Richards, number where's 45. The where's the muscles? Excellent. I yeah, I was, I was more mean did, there. He didn't know what protein was this. then. But look at this, the chest. And the shot is why I became a defender. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but look at that, I set it up. You know what, I got I got too excited. He always, he always looked, he always used to look confused when he gave a foul away, like he didn't know what he'd done. He would kind of be like... <laughs> Did you see that, you see that chance? Fabregas' foot was all up there. It would have been VAR. I would have got a penalty there. Oh, here we go. He wants a penalty for that. 100% a penalty. In today's game, that's a penalty, definitely. We'll, we'll have a closer look at look it at then, it. shall we, Let's Micah? Look. Look You're not this. wrong. You're not wrong. Ooh, exactly ooh, there. Well, you but you see the core. The core <laughs> was strong. <laughs> so he wasn't moving me. Don't worry about that. Thierry, <laughs> uh, you remember that game yes, very I well, do. don't you? It was actually probably more famously known for that Not penalty. For me, it's famous Not because you, I, beat, but... I beat right his record. Yes, I got my old trophy, so sorry. Well, I don't know what you want to talk about. <laughs> well, this was a lovely moment at the start of the match. As you say, you became Arsenal's leading goal scorer, righty handing over the trophy. No, it was a great moment, in all fairness, to do that. I don't know what Robert Pires did there. I, I cannot actually tell you. I know Danny Mills was upset. <laughs> I was at that game. Were you? I was really? at that game. Oh, it was gosh. one of the funniest things I've ever seen. You need to, I, I'm, I'm going to give Robert Pires... <laughs> Number to go. you, so you can call him because I don't know what he did. So what are you doing? Yeah, he... you're, you're running, you run too quick. You Listen, put him off. If I invent you to a party and you can't dance, that's on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I invited you. That's all I did. I like that. that you. If you cannot dance, that's on you. I know how to dance, you know. <laughs> we saw you having a few words with him, didn't you? After? Oh, no, I laughed. I laughed because I don't know what happened to him. I thought he was a bit more confident than that. All he had to do is to roll the ball and you just couldn't do it. Did you practice that, though, TT? You don't practice rolling the ball. Before, in, in training, though, because you oh. must have known when he was going to do it. It was some of your own Cruyff, isn't it? He done it years know, ago yeah, on a right, penalty. Your own Cruyff did it. The only thing I would say is I should have done it because I don't know what happened to him. And, and first, the rule says that the ball has to go around. So one proper lap, and he didn't. The penalty should, should be retaken because the ball didn't actually move from the spot. Uh, so I know VAR. But even now, but he didn't even he, he didn't even know where he was. I think. Well, you can't dance. Don't come to the party. <laughs> no, that's, that's amazing that you were in the crowd for that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, no, no one. Because then the whistle went. Nobody knew what had happened. We were thinking they're going to retake it. And then it, it was only when we got back and watched it on the telly that night. It was like, yeah. what are you, what, hang on. But that's how much. That's how. That's how terrible City were at the time. No offence, Mike. It's just like teams are taking was only all the time. I was. <laughs> um, right, let's take it up to date now then, Noel. What have you made of Man City this season? Um, I always thought this season was going to be a transitional season because um, I've, I've always thought there was going to be a little bit of a tactical shift with getting Haaland. And I think we've not been imperious, you know, where we... But we, we kind of... I think... We were second in the league and we're here. We're doing all right without being brilliant. We're doing all right. And I, I think, I don't know, it's, it's, it's difficult because it's, it's fine margins, do you know what I mean? And um, particularly in this competition, I felt that the years, the year that we got to the final and the year before that when we got knocked out in the semi, I felt we were the best team in Europe those two years and we just didn't make it. I remember when Arsenal were the best team in Europe for two years and they got beaten the final by Barcelona and it was like, you couldn't believe it. You know, so... <clears throat> He'll always throw the Champions League thing at us because it's the only thing he's ever won that's any good. <laughs> but he said, I heard him on the television one night saying, every time the fixtures came out, he was always looking at the Champions League, never mind the Premier League, because he knew he was never going to win it. <laughs> so, so that's, why, that, that's why he holds it in great esteem, right? right? But I think we'll win it when we're not at our best. This year, then? Well, ho hopefully this year. I mean, but it's like, it's like, you know, like Chelsea win it when they're not at their best. And it kind of seems to be the way that the best team in Europe never quite 
never quite get there, but no, I mean, I mean it does happen. But you, you know, in terms of obviously, the, you haven't won the Champions League, but the crowd and and there's that thing of you know you don't really embrace the Champions League as a club. Do you think that probably? transmits itself to maybe to the pitch that you maybe don't think it's the, the biggest thing in the world to win it shouldn't do it shouldn't do but of course you know if you've got 50 60 thousand people there is an energy in it but i think i think people are getting in me personally i i i think when we first got in there we, we felt a little bit undeserving of it do you know what i mean and if we'd have won it in the first year i wouldn't have, i wouldn't have accepted it. i don't i think it's got to be i think when we do when we eventually do win it I think it'll be a mass celebration, but I think the attitude towards the competition is getting better. There is a bit of a, a herd mentality when people start booing, they all start booing, but I think not a proper football supporter, a proper supporter of this club can't just dismiss this competition. It kind of validates everything that, that, that we're, we're trying to be about. But, you know, like I say, when we got beaten in the final by Chelsea, I couldn't believe it. I thought we were the best team in Europe by a mile that year. And just that little thing in the final where we went a goal behind and couldn't pull it back. But, it's fine margins, you know, it's, it's, it's little tiny little details. What about the Premier League title then? Are you going to pip Thierry's Arsenal to it? It's going to go to the last weekend. We've got to be perfect before we get him here. And I can't see us being perfect because we've not put more than three wins together all season. Can I, hopefully Liverpool will turn up again. Liverpool only turn up against us. Hopefully they'll turn up against <laughs> Arsenal. And, and Man U. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And totally. the Champions League normally. Yeah. 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 I know, you know what I mean? Cheating your own fans, you, Bob. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> But Don't I start talking about cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's gone there, he's gone there. Um, no, before we let you go, you're about to go to America on yeah. tour. So come on, tell all the American audience, where's your favourite place to play out there? Uh, I like it. I've got to say, the older that I've got, the more I, the more I like America. I like, obviously, New York and L.A. you would expect, but I like the little... The little truck stops that you go to in the middle of nowhere at like four in the afternoon when they ask you, are you in the Beatles? And you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> and the Beatles broke up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys in the Beatles? <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> uh, well, album coming out in the summer, an ex exciting time. Looking yeah, it's forward out, to it. Yeah, it's out June the 2nd, and the, you, um, the American tour starts on June the 2nd. And I've only just realised about two months ago that the Champions League final is on June the 10th because of the World Cup yes. and I'm going to be in Salt Lake City or somewhere oh like <laughs> San Diego <laughs> we checked San Diego yeah. right? watching it oh, oh, I mean, hopefully we'll win it but watching it in a bar where you can't drink oh. <laughs> at 10 in the morning or something um, well no it's been great to have you oh, with thank us you thank, thank you, you so much if Manchester City win tonight will you come back and join us after even if we don't we'll not come back oh good <laughs> that's nice <laughs> <laughs> even better <laughs> 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 no.